Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is sound occlusion, or essentially stopping or muffling a sound through a wall or through a door or anything along those lines. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today, as it's a lot easier to explain where you can actually hear it. So if I were to walk closer to the door, you should hear the music start fading in, start playing. That's just because I'm getting closer, it's going to be getting louder. And as I walk through this door, you will hear it will get louder even further, like so, as I've now actually entered the room the sound is playing in. If I were to leave again, it's going to get quieter and sound kind of muffled, like so. And if I were to obviously go back behind this wall here, it's going to sound slightly muffled, which gives a nice little effect. If I just simulate the game, we can see this even further. So when I'm in here, it's going to be full volume. When I go through a wall, it's then going to be kind of muffled and quieter, and that's kind of an effect that we can go with. Or what we can do alternatively is make it stop completely. So we're going to have it full volume, or be completely silent. So when we're on this side of the wall, we can't hear it at all. It's completely up to you for what you want to do. And this is incredibly easy to customize, so you can change it to be louder, quieter, more muffled, less muffled, not muffled at all. It's really easy to customize for your specific needs. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me take this code, and I'll show you how I've done it. So like I say, this is very, very easy to do. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the sound we want, which for me, I've just got this royalty-free music, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. Once we have that, we want to right-click it and create a cue. If you're already using a sound cue, perfect, just open that up straight away. And I should say as well, this works for any sound effect, it doesn't just have to be music, that's just the example I've got in this video. What we want to do is we want to search for override attenuation and tick that, and then you can change and modify the attenuation sounds here, so the volume here. So for example, I think I had mine as 150 and 1000. Obviously, set this up for your own map and your own level, but that bit doesn't matter too much. You just need to make sure you have override attenuation ticked. Then we're going to search for occlusion, and we want to tick enable occlusion. And now this is going to be working for us immediately. They're already doing everything for us. However, this won't sound too different, because at the moment, the occlusion volume attenuation is still 1. So if you want this to be silent, we'll set it to 0. So let's hit save and test this out. I'll place this into my level, so I think here is going to be good for me. If I hit simulate, we can hear it full volume here. If I go on the other side of the wall, it's now cut out. It's completely silent. It is really that easy. However, you'll notice when we come back, we're no longer playing. That is because when the sound stops playing, we need to tell it to restart. So how do we do that? Well, if we open this back up, we can then search for virtualization. We have virtualization mode. What I'm going to do is do play when silent. So even when we're outside of the audible range, it's still going to be playing, as that obviously makes sense. That's what sound does. Just because we can't hear it doesn't mean it's not playing. So if I were to hit simulate again, we hear it full volume. We go here, it's silent. We go back in, it's still playing. And if you want to muffle it, what you can do is we'll search for occlusion again. So we don't want it to be silent, we want it to be muffled. We'll set the attenuation volume to be 0.2 instead of 0 or instead of 1. So now if we hit play and go outside, it's quieter. But it's only quieter, it doesn't really sound muffled, it just sounds quiet. So you can hear the difference like this. So how do we give it that muffled effect? Well what we can do is use the occlusion low pass filter frequency. And essentially, in a quick roundabout way of saying this, a low pass filter essentially just stops anything above this frequency playing. So it'll only play frequencies below this number. So what I set mine as was 450, or let's go maybe even lower for this. So 250, and let's hit simulate again. And now you can see it kind of sounds more muffled as it's quieter and it's only letting lower frequencies through. Now obviously you can change that number completely dependent on your own sound effect as different sounds will require different frequencies as obviously each sound sounds completely different. So just mess about with this to get it perfect for you. For example, if I had to lower it all the way down to 50, you should be able to tell the difference once again. So even less sound is coming through now as we are allowing less frequencies. But again, it really gives it that nice muffled sound. So what I'm gonna do is just increase this a little bit more just so it's a bit more audible for the purpose of the tutorial. So I'll say 500. And I think with that, that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. As you can hear, we've got a sound effect playing perfectly here at full volume. 
and when we are on the other side of a wall it's going to be quieter and it's going to be muffled and I've also shown you how to make it completely silent or completely customize this for your needs as well. And this also works through floors, so if we're upstairs, you can hear someone watching TV downstairs, for example. Or if you're outside walking past the house, you can hear it in through the walls. Now this doesn't automatically change it based upon wall depth, you will have to do that manually yourself. But obviously it does everything else for us automatically, so you can't really complain. But thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below, as it really does help me in the channel a lot. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.